Okay, so this is, I'm gonna use, this is really important. I'm gonna use the middle two fingers of my left hand and they're the two outside notes of an A chord. I'm on the fourth string, second fret with my middle finger. I'm skipping the third string. I am on the second string, second fret with my ring finger. And you wanna keep that going because you're gonna swap out this for that index finger. What happens is people will go like this and then they start flip-flopping all over the place. Mm -hmm. That's why you do this. It's a little smoother and more elegant. It's, you can hear it, it sounds that way. Mm -hmm. Right hand, thumb is on five. Index is on four, I'm skipping three, just like I did with the left, and I'm gonna put my middle on two, so that's that. So I'm gonna play the bass note, and then I'm gonna play the two chord notes that I'm playing on this hand at the same time. Okay, so bass note, chords. Then I move this up, and this is kind of tricky. I'm on the second fret with both those fingers. When I move this up, I'm gonna move both those guys up to the fourth fret, and then I'm gonna, I don't want this string, I, I'm this fret, excuse me, I want the fret behind it. So I don't wanna hear it. it sounds terrible, so you want. So that's when I swap out my index or my ring finger, and that puts me on the second fret first, then I'm on three and four, then I go back to the same fret for five, and then I go back to four and three. So. Then I'm going to switch to the D one, which is exactly like the A one, but rather than be on the fourth and second string, I'm going to be on the third and first string here, like the two outside notes of a D chord, except played with these. That would be the D chord if I completed with a pinky, which is a weird way to play a D chord, but it's like a D chord without the middle note, kind of sort of. And then this guy is going to move proportionally. Now it's not going to be on five, four, and two. It's going to be on four, three, and skip two and one. So these two fingers on this hand are playing the same notes as these two fingers on this hand. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to do it twice. Or you can do it as many times as you want. So here's the A one. Here's the D one. Just practice both of those and get them under your fingers so you don't stop it.